But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hunky Vape. I'm your host, DJ Alex, and today we're doing a PC case review right there because I'm trying to do a $200 in 2024, a $200 budget PC to use for OBS and gaming. So in order for me to do this, I need to slash the price of the PC case. And I found one here for only $60. Is it any good? Well, stick around. We're gonna unbox this thing, go over it, all of the features of it, and find out if this is gonna work for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we went, we ordered everything. We got ourselves a beautiful memory. We've got ourselves a graphics card. We've got ourselves a lovely motherboard, but it all needs to go in something. Right there. There's our beautiful Dark Rock A8 PC case. Now, the reason I picked this case is it's a full ATX case. It's got USB ports on the outside. It is a looker because I ordered it in a white and it's actually cheaper in a white right now on Amazon than it is if you get a black case. It's got a split front design uh, and it allows it to have airflow on the bottom and a nice clear look on the top because everything's RGB nowadays. And I mean, the picture that they have on there showed a whole bunch of fans, but it only comes with one. So without further ado, let's get this thing open unboxed and find out how good she really is. Time for the first cut. Now, as you clearly see from the front of the panel, we have a tempered glass triangle here. We have triangle here, which is all airflow, divided by a piece of plastic across the front. On the top of it, we have a magnetic dust filter. We have airflow ventilation with a filter on the inside here. Two screws that are plastic with a metal screw on the inside. Let's you remove the outer cover. Inside here is another one of these magnetic filters that is taped in place for shipping. As you can clearly see right there. Now on the back of it does come with one fan pre-installed in here and your standard ATX setup in the back with a power supply fitted on the bottom. On the other side of the PC case, you have a tempered glass door that is held in with three magnets. You have an instruction manual and you have a bag of spare parts, zip ties, a bunch of screws, and an extra slot cover. But what you really want to see is a close up of the bottom section here where you have a hard drive tray with a removable slot. The other thing that's really unique about this case is instead of having all of your ports on the front of the case, they are all on the right hand side. You've got a power button, reset button, your indicator LEDs are here for your hard drive. And then you've got a speaker, microphone, USB-C type A and USB-C type C connection ready to go for us. And as I stated on the side, plenty of ventilation holes, places for you to mount just about everything you need. And they even included a solid state drive caddy for you to be able to mount that securely to your case. This case did not have these standoffs here. So these had to be installed.
And there's your standard connections. This one is for the USB-C. Your motherboard will need to have a port supporting that if that's what you want to use. Here's a USB-C to USB-A connector. And then your standard motherboard connections. And the fan that they included is an RGB fan and does include RGB cabling that is passed through in design. And that is addressable RGB five volt design with a cover to protect those pins. Very nice. I can't believe that's only selling for $60 right now. All right, I guess it's time to get this project built. Is not as easy as a build as I've done numerous times before. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for me to do a wrap up here for the A8-X PC case review from Dark Rock. And I'm telling you, it was a bargain at $60. Would it be a bargain if I got the black one and I paid $70 for it? Now we're starting to get into some muddy waters, to be honest with you. It was a very challenging build. And for most people, once you build it and you put the cover on, you never touch the inside of that thing again, as long as the thing turns on and it keeps working the way you want it to work. Very few people actually upgrade their stuff. So the biggest con of it may not be a con for somebody that goes out and buys a mini ATX board and slaps in a APU that's got both the CPU and the GPU built into it, and they never worry about it. If you want to do some gaming, you're obviously going to slap in a video card. So you got to take out and break out those little tabs. These little tabs that go in and cover the slots on the back of the case. That's the only real pet peeve to this A8-X case. 
and they give you one spare. So if you wanted to put a two slot graphics card in there and you take it out later on because you get yourself a APU and use that as some other secondary computer somewhere for your kids to browse the internet, watch Netflix or whatever. Well, you're going to have to go and buy these slot covers and they're available and most of them will fit in there without any issues, but I honestly think they could have spared one more slot cover. The only other complaint that I have with this case is cable management. They give you a bunch of zip ties. And like I said, if you're just throwing the case together and you zip tie it, you could be done with it. But I mean, the, the quality cases that you're going to pay over a hundred dollars for are going to come with Velcro. So you can already, um, you know, do all your cable management, take them on and off and whatever. But for somebody that's just looking for a budget PC build, this is a bargain. This is a steal. Now I'm going to say it's a steal at $60. And if you want black instead of white, cause you don't want to get, you know, dirty or whatever, so be it. It's a 10 extra 10 bucks. It's still worth it in my opinion, but they give you everything you need. It's a looker. It's gorgeous. And this has been the longest that I've ranted about a PC case, but I think in my entire life, but I kind of like it. So if this review helped you hit the like button below. I'll be putting more content up, assorted nature. So hit the subscribe button if you want. If not, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope this video helped you and I'll catch you on the next one.